Um, you know, obviously I'm disappointed. I wish that, you know, I'd played better. I think, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things where, you know, you can go back, be a tough critic on yourself, judgmental, but at the same time, I mean, you know, you, you got to bring more to the table than just, uh, one thing. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, yeah, I wish, I wish I would have, uh, you know, shot more efficiently, uh, you know, help alleviate some of the, the pressure that other guys were facing. Um, but you know, this is sort, sort of the situation, um, that we're in and, you know, frankly, had I played better, you know, we probably might be in a, in a little bit of a different spot. So it's definitely going to be a motivating factor, um, for me in this off season going forward, just because, you know, like a lot of us were just talking about in the locker room, you know, this thing is far from over for us. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Joe. I'm wondering if, uh, in your mind, guys are playing a lot of minutes. It was a heavy workload. Was that fatigue in the overtime period where you guys shot one of 12, or was that something else in your mind? Um, I mean, yeah, you can factor that in for sure. But, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, I mean, we just didn't get, you know, execute – probably when we, when we should have, um, you know, we didn't necessarily take, uh, some of the, the cleanest looks. I, I think, you know, uh, early in the, in the overtime period, we got some good looks at it. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily blame it on fatigue. I think it's just, you know, um, focus, whatever it might be. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't necessarily just put it on fatigue. I mean, obviously we did play a, a lot of minutes, and guys' workload was was huge. You know, you're looking at right now, like Kevin playing 53, James 53, Bruce 52. I mean, you get to the <laughs> seventh game in a series that's already been banging on people this entire time. You know, I think both both sides were a little gassed, but that's when you have to step up and make plays, and they obviously made more than us down the stretch. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Joe, when, when you mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, when you mentioned that, you know, you were just talking about the series or this this run that you guys could potentially go on is far from over for you all. I'm wondering how quickly that shifted. You know, Steve Nash was talking about how much it hurts, but what was that shift within the locker room of this hurts, but also this is our path forward? Um, it wasn't necessarily even anything that was spoken. I think it was more um, individually, like to a man sort of a deal where, you know, we're obviously just appreciative of one another. We had an unbelievable season that, you know, we have every right to be extremely proud of. You know, it's one of those things where everybody in the locker room, you know, we left it all out there. And obviously it's just an unfortunate outcome. Um, but for the group of guys that will be around and coming back, I mean, you know, that's a, it's a motivating factor going forward, a motivating factor in the off season. Um, but uh, I think, you know, to a man, it's not like anything w was discussed um, collectively in front of anybody or anything like that. I mean, it's obviously a difficult uh, mood and emotions. Um, just kind of everybody's <laughs> taking their own time in terms of how they're they're dealing with this. Um, but individually, you know, you talk to Steve, you talk to other people. I think a lot of us, especially me, you know, hoping that I'll be around for a little while. This is this thing is far from over. Alex Schiffer, the Athletic. Hey, Joe, you look at the past year you guys have had. I mean, a year ago, you're probably getting ready to go into the bubble, short layover into this season. Just how much of a break do you give yourself before thinking about next season, or is your mind already going there? Uh, no, I'm definitely going to take a break. I mean, it's been a pretty difficult uh, year, to say the least, just with everything that's going on. So, you know, I think we all need a little time away and just refresh, get your mind right, get yourself in, in a good spot to where – you want to come in, um, put the work to start building on for, for next year. First back, NBC New York. Joe, even with the injuries, did you ever expect to be here tonight talking about uh, the season being over, or did you believe that you were on your way to a title? Um, you know, you're always optimistic, regardless of the circumstances that you're going to be keep competing for a title. But this is the reality of the matter. This is where we're at now. And uh, – you know, we all wish it was a different outcome, but um, like I like I said earlier, um, to a man, we all left it out there. We have nothing to hang our heads about. I mean, we we competed as hard as we could with the guys that that we had. Brian Lewis with the post. 
Hey, Joe. Uh, curious, uh, drilling down on your earlier comments, I'm wondering for a team that was obviously built, kind of chips all in to win a championship and to go out in the second round, do you think that could play a role? You know, going forward and keeping this team together as it is currently constituted, you know, getting some of the bigger names to re-sign and stay here so you can run it back next year? Yeah, I don't know. That's a question for Sean. I mean, I don't make any decisions like that. I just, you know, I just work here, Brian. 